Hi, have you ever been to the doctor and they've taken a blood test? How did that make you feel? Well, obviously, it's a bit scary, but it doesn't hurt that much when they're taking the blood out from you. So basically, they take a needle and then they take a little bit of your blood in order to send it off for testing. But why do they take blood tests? Now that's because many times we can actually detect whether you have a particular disease through your blood test. An example of one disease that you can detect is malaria. So malaria can be detected by using a little bit of your blood and then carrying out a few tests on it which show up as positive if you have certain things called malarial parasites in your blood. Now here's an example of a report of a person who has malaria. Now as you can see, the common symptoms of a person who has malaria include fever with chills and rigor. Moreover, the results show that the person has the malarial parasite in their blood, which means that they are suffering from the disease which is malaria. So now that we have the results, how do we kill these malarial parasites which are inside the blood? Well, that's the job of the medicines we take to cure ourselves of diseases. Once we take the medicine, they actually kill off all these malarial germs or parasites which are roaming around in our bodies in our blood. Can you see these malarial parasites? No, because they're extremely tiny. Okay, so now we've looked at the symptoms of malaria and we've seen how we can get rid of malaria, right? But does this mean that whenever we have a mosquito biting us, we can get malaria? No. Now this is because not all mosquitoes cause malaria. Only certain kinds of mosquitoes that actually carry the disease in them, when they bite you, then you might get malaria. So don't get scared every time you see a mosquito. However, it's really important that we know how we can prevent getting malaria in the first place. So here you can take a look at a poster that states what are the steps you need to take in order to prevent malaria. So one of the steps is that you need to prevent or avoid water collecting around your house. Why do you think that is? Well, it's because the mosquitoes, when they lay their eggs, the eggs hatch to give birth to smaller mosquitoes which are actually called larvae. And these larvae live in these collected pools of water. So as long as you have standing water or water that has collected somewhere for a long time, chances are that mosquitoes could lay their eggs in them and those mosquitoes can give rise to malaria. So whenever you see any water that's collected in a place for too long, it's best to make sure that that water is removed, right? So can you think of any other ways in which you can prevent malaria? Make sure that you use mosquito nets when you sleep because mosquitoes can bite you and usually they do so during dusk and dawn. So use a mosquito net or mosquito sprays to ensure that there are no mosquitoes biting you as well. So using the steps that we've seen and by understanding how malaria is spread, we can actually avoid getting this very uh, dangerous disease or this disease which can actually cause a lot of pain and suffering to the people who suffer from them. So the next time that you see standing water or you see that there's some water collected in one place, make sure that you clean it or you dry it off and you prevent, help prevent malaria.